Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's draw the Lewis structure of O3 or ozone. Start out by looking at oxygen on the periodic table. It's in group 6 or 16. It has 6 valence electrons, but we have 3 of them. So let's multiply that by 3 to give us a total of 18 valence electrons. That's how many we have to work with. Draw our 3 oxygens right here, and so we have 18 valence electrons. Let's start by putting 2 between each of the oxygens there. That forms a chemical bond. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Let's check now and see if we have octets over here, 8 over here as well. So those have octets, but in the center, this oxygen here only has 6. So we need two more valence electrons. What we can do is take two from the outside and share them. And when we do that, we form a double bond. And let's see, now we have 2, 4, 6, 8 there. We have 8 for the center. And then we have 8 over here. So we've fulfilled the octet rule uh, for each of the oxygens. The only problem is we could have had the double bond over here and the single bond here. Both are correct. When you have structures where you could have where you can draw it two different ways, those are called resonance structures. And we end up with something like this right here, where we draw it both ways and we put an arrow between to show that it could be either you could have a single here and a double here or a double here and a single here. It's really the same thing. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.